All right, so now I'm going to show you how we can graph absolute value equations. And um, they're actually not as hard as you may think initially, as long as you understand the simple concepts. So um, just like any graph, understand that you can always plug in numbers for x and then get numbers for y and plot the points. But you know, obviously, it may be tedious and take a long time. And um, although it is fun, we want to be, you know, efficient, smart about it. So here's the thing. So let's look at this equation, f of x equals the absolute value of x minus 3, which is just the same as y equals the absolute value of x minus 3. In general, we can write absolute value equations as y equal to a times the absolute value of x minus h plus k. And the hk make up the vertex. Think of this as like the vertex. h comma k is the vertex, sort of. And think of the a as the slope. Mm, slope. However, it's a slope to one direction. Slope, oh, you like to put slope positive. Slope to the right. So what I mean is, um, first let's uh, let's break this down. So this is the same as one times the absolute value of x. Let me actually fix this over here. There's somebody screaming outside. Hold up one second. Yeah, there's some um, man, I think it was a man who was like screaming or something outside. So I closed the window in case you're wondering, but I'm cool. Okay, so this is the same as one times absolute value of X minus zero plus zero. No, not plus zero, plus three. Sure. Minus three, <laughs> minus three. See that creepy man freaked me out. All right, so. What's the point of that is like, we can see then the one is the A, H is zero and K is negative three. So then those two guys together is zero negative three. So this is where the vertex is. So starting here, zero negative three. Now, when I, when I mean slope to the right or positive side, the slope or a is one. So from here we go up one to the right one, just like with a slope. And we're gonna do this like that. And on the right, we reflect, I mean on the left side, it would be reflected. And that's gonna be your absolute value graph. It'll be a V-shaped graph. Mm, let me grab my ruler. And there we go. So I know I kind of went through that slow, but it's important you understand this. So it comes down to this. Think of a V-shaped graph with the vertex at HK. Um, it could also be, you know, uh, it could also be going downward if, if the slope is negative. But still, it starts at H comma K, the vertex. Um, so let's look at this next one so we can do it fast now. So actually try it first on your on your own, probably you know, pause the video, see if you can get this down. Because once you get this um, concept down, you can grasp this whole thing in like a minute. So here we go. So the A is going to be negative 2. Remember this. H is 1. And then K is 3. And so the vertex is at one, three. Now, the common um, point where students sometimes get confused is, you know, it's x minus h, so they'll think, oh, it's negative one. But um, it's literally x minus h, so whatever that value is, is going to be one. If it was plus one, it'll be negative one. But don't overthink it, because that can confuse students. Um, see, and from here, we can, we can graph the whole thing. So we graph. First, the point one, three. 
That's the vertex. And you see that the slope or A is negative two. So think of that as a slope. And to the right, we then go down two and to the right one. That's why we, I'm saying to the right when we talk about slope. So down two to the right one, down to the right one, down to the right one, one, one and reflect it on the left, and the bang. You got a beautiful V-shaped graph. Wow, it's pretty cool. See, so um, even though I've been doing math for hundreds of years, um, you don't have. I'm not like when I graph these really quickly in my head. It's not because I'm doing all these calculations. It's because I understand these concepts, and that's it. Okay, so I hope that helps. Um, let me know if there's any questions or maybe I explained something confusing or maybe it didn't make sense to you, but um, let me know in the comments because I'm always gonna try my best to improve. And if you think it was helpful and want some more say, you know, leave me a like and of course subscribe. All right, later, later peoples.